how to create a drop down list in Excel that automatically updates with new values. And also, if you input new rows, so let's say here I'm gonna add a new row and then I press enter, this new row already has the drop down list waiting for me. So if I click here, I'm gonna have access to all the options that I normally have in the drop down list. And also, if I go to the lists where I'm using to create the options, the values that I have within my drop down list, Whenever I input a new information here, so let's say B12 and then enter, as you can see, now I have a new value in the drop down list. If I go back to my sales report and then I click here within this cell to open my drop down list, the B12, the new item that I added before, it's already here in my drop down list. So let's take a look on how can we create a dynamic drop down list in Excel step by step from scratch. Let's go. There is many different ways to create a drop down list in Excel. But uh, because we want to create a dynamic drop down list, maybe there is fewer ways to do so. And here I'm going to use a method where we're going to need to use a table in Excel to be able to automatically update the list whenever we input a new value. And also I'm going to use the indirect function in Excel. So two different two goals. So let's start with the, the first thing that is, it's important to have a data set just to be able to input the the drop down list and here i'm using a sales report but it uh, doesn't matter you can use anything that you want to use or you can also use a blank cell just to create the drop down list it's going it's going to work in the same way so let's say i want to apply my drop down list in the values that i have here within the products column but uh, whenever i want to add new rows within this data that i have my drop down list is not going to appear for me in the in the new range if you want to automatically Updated the range, you can transform first this data set into a table in Excel because that way you are always going to keep the drop down list within the products column. So let's do it. Let me select everything that I have here, like this, and then I go to insert table and then OK. Now I have a table in Excel, and uh, whenever I input here a new value, let's say 123, 123, enter. As you can see, I have I got here a new row. And this new row is going to bring all the formulas and functions and tools that I have in the previous rows. Let me press here Ctrl Z just to undo the action. Okay, now let's go to the lists. The lists is where the name suggests I want to input the items, the options that I want to use in the drop down lists. And here I have the products. I also need to transform this data into a table. So let's do so. Insert, table, and then OK. Now I have a new table with the products. Something that I can do here just to make more customized is select everything and then I can go here to the table design and here to the left, instead of having table two as the name, I can change it to maybe the product. Okay, like this. Now I can already create the drop down list in my sales report. But before we do it, let me click here in any cell to the right or in any blank cell, equal sign, equal sign. And then I want to select everything within the, the table that I have. Uh, don't need to select the title. As you can see here, this is the range that I need to use, or this is the name, this is the reference that I want to use to bring the table that I have, all the options. This reference is not using any cell's name, such as A2 up to, let's say, A5. No, here I'm using the name of the table. So this is why it's important to have a table in Excel. Let me select everything that I have here, but the equal sign, select everything, and then right click, Cope because we're going to use this reference within the data validation. OK, let me press ESC. Now we're going to go again to the sales report, select everything that I have within the products column like this. Then I can go to data, data validation. And within this data validation options, I can change allow any value to allow list. And uh, here within the source bar, I want to use equal sign and then the function that I said before indirect open parentheses very important to open parentheses and then open quotations and then right click within this bar and then paste to paste the range that we selected before close quotations and then close parentheses we done just press here okay now as you can see whenever you click in any cell within the products range you can see that you have the lists the options as we have in the lists so let's say i want to add here new products omega 3 and pre-workout and vitamin c and if I add here new rows, such as I did before, let's say 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, enter. As you can see, uh, the drop down list is also going to automatically appear here for me, even though this is a new row here in Excel. And if I go back to the lists and add here a new item, so let's say uh, 
protein powder enter Th this new value is gonna automatically be updated for me in the drop down list so i can click here and as you can see now the last option is corresponding to the last value that i have in my list and uh, i can also keep adding new uh rows here with new values enter as you can see the drop down list is going to be automatically here for me with all the values that i have before and uh, also if i go back to the lists and let's say i want to read it off some information uh pre-workout there is an item it's an item that uh we are not use anymore so let me click within the cell and then right click and then i can go to delete table rows like this so as you can see i just read it off uh pre -work the pre-workout information and uh, if i go back to the sales report and I click again in the drop down list the pre-workout doesn't appear anymore so this is how we can create a dynamic and interactive drop down list in excel and i hope you, this video can help you out and if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there